Hey, what's up? Finally, we got to the camera of 11A5. If you're already subscribed to our channel Tech Brothers, then you should watch unboxing, performance test and battery test of this phone. If not, then all the links are in description. Camera is one of the main features of 11A5 because it has triple rear camera and dual front camera. However, there is a catch here. Not all sensors are real. I will try to prove it in this video. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel Tech Brothers. Elephant A5 has triple camera on the back, 12, 5 and 0.3 megapixels. The front facing camera consists of 20 megapixels and 2 megapixels sensors. However, when I opened and to the benchmark, I haven't seen the third sensor on the back and the second on the front. As you can see, Antutu shows only 12 and 5 megapixels sensors on the back and 20 megapixels sensor on the front. From this, I can conclude that Elephant A5 doesn't use the third sensor on the back and the second on the front. If I'm wrong, please write in comments below. I don't see any other explanation. As for the camera app, there are some interesting functions. Of course, there are different modes, such as video, picture, stereo, mono, advanced and others. You can also turn on off the flashlight and HDR mode. The settings menu provides following options – scene mode, anti-chic, self-timer, picture size, white balance, ISO, etc. The video settings menu has EIS, microphone, video quality and other standard options. However, the most interesting functions are refocus and 3D. The first function allows to change the blur level after taking photo, while the second one shows 3D picture. Now let's look at real sample photos. We have very good sunny weather. It is almost spring. As you can see, the photos in daytime are very good. They are bright, high detailed and clear. However, when you are indoor, the photo quality immediately drops. The images are not as clear as outdoors. As we already figured out, the second sensor on the back is real, so the photos with bokeh effect are pretty good. Elephant A5 also makes good pictures with two zoom. The selfies are ok. From other side, there is no bokeh effect for front-facing camera. This is another confirmation that the second sensor on the front panel is fake. As I already said, the photo quality significantly drops in low-light conditions. The photos indoors are not as clear as outdoors, but night images are even worse. You can see night photos on your screen. Elephant A5 shoots a video in Full HD at 30fps. There is electronic image stabilization, so the footage is quite smooth. The colors are natural and detail is pretty good. I really like how Elephant A5 shoots video.
So it was the last video about Elephone A5. We already made 4 videos about this phone. You can watch all of them by the links in the description. The smartphone provides very good performance. It runs any games without any problems. The battery is big, but screen on time is pretty low – only 5 hours and 40 minutes. As for the camera, despite its fake sensors on the front and back, the photo and video quality is good for $200 smartphone. Elephone A5 is a good deal. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel Tech Brothers.